Hey guys, this is Kevin with God, Family, and Everything Else. It has been a minute since I've recorded a new episode, and I do apologize for that. Just so many things going on, but you know what? If it's about God, there's no excuse. I need to continue working on making Him first in my life, first and foremost, and for everyone out there that is willing to listen to what um, God has to say through me. So it's not what I have to say, it's what God has to say. And you know, do this time actually i'm all i'm thinking of like what can i talk about that you know i want to relate or share with people that you know has impacted me and i'm sitting there thinking to myself like why am i sitting here thinking so hard what can i talk about but you know with god's word we can talk about anything because everything that god has to tell us that we need to share with everybody so there's always going to be something that god wants us to share and that i'm also going to be learning myself now, I was thinking many years ago, I was, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know the artist named Lecrae, but uh, I was introduced to him by a friend of mine, Gabe, Gabriel, and I met him. Actually, he's actually responsible for me meeting my wife as well. So shout out to him. But he was listening to some music and then he was talking about, you know, these Christian artists out there. And then he mentioned uh, this guy named Lecrae and i had decided to give him a listen so i was like okay this guy's pretty good you know and lecrae's blown up he's like huge now even today even back then he was just up and coming so he's done a lot and when i think about it he had this one song called identity identity and i'm like identity so I'm listening to the music and it's pretty good and stuff and then i love the hook uh on it and the hook goes like i'm not the shoes i wear i'm not the clothes i buy i'm not the house i live in i'm not the car i drive i'm not the job i work you can't define my worth i'm nothing on about nothing on god's green earth my identity is found in christ it's found in christ and when i heard that i'm like wow you know what it doesn't matter what what i have or or how big my house is or what kind of car and things like that nothing's wrong with having nice things but that's not should be someone something that should define you no it shouldn't you shouldn't have to cruise around and you know think about look at me look at me look, let, let people see what i have and you know this is what i'm about and try to get the girls or try to get some some friends and you know <laughs> that's not what it should be about and i remember i was i fallen into that when i was growing up i had a car that i worked on and everything and i remember driving by i purposely would drive down the street because people were waiting at the bus stop and i would fly right on by because the way my car looked and sound and everything i wanted people to check it out and i'm like yeah look at that and i was i was you know feeling pretty good and feeling pretty proud about that i'm like this is this is what i got but you know the older you get it doesn't matter anymore it doesn't and i i came across a verse in the bible and it's second corinthians uh chapter 5 verse 17 and i'll go ahead and read that for you guys here that it says this means that anyone who belongs to christ has become a new person the old life is gone a new life has begun and all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through, the, through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconcili and reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sin against them. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God, for God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. <clears throat> and when I read that, that is just amazing. So we can maybe be made right through with God through Christ. See, we are sinful creatures. We don't want to admit it. There's a lot of people that just say, I'm a good person. No, no. Without Christ, we are sinful because we fall to our flesh, to our desires and our needs. And when we have God, or when we accept Christ into our heart, that is what God sees. 
do you become perfect when you accept Christ? No, you still sin. Because think of it this way, all right? When you accept Christ, you die to your old self and you are born again with Christ, meaning you're brand new. That that doesn't mean it's an overnight change. It's an ongoing battle with your old flesh. But the good thing is, is that now when you sin, now that you have Christ in you, your new identity is in Christ. And that is who God sees you as. He sees his son inside your heart that he knows that you accepted him and that you are trying not to be your old self and you want to walk the path of righteousness and be and have that relationship with God. I think of a perfect example. Many years ago, my dad had a heart transplant. He's been on that heart donor list for over, I think, nearly 10 years. Finally got the heart. All right, a new heart, a new heart. He feels good, but he has to take medication to keep that heart strong and because that the body is rejecting the heart. When you think about it, if you're not born with it, your body is going to reject it. So the body sees that the body sees, whoa, this isn't the heart I was born with. What is this? We, we don't want this in here. Get this out of here. But my dad has to take the medication to reject the, the the body from trying to reject the heart so he can continue and so the heart can stay strong and the same thing applies to us when it comes to accepting Christ when we're born we don't have Christ in us we don't we have to accept him and when we bring him in that is something new that the body and the flesh is like whoa what are you trying to change no no what you were doing before was great why is this new new n- new something inside of us who who is this jesus but then how do we continue keeping jesus strong in our life we need that medication like my dad said the medication is god's word we need to consistently feed our new life our new heart so we can reject our old ways because our old ways will come back to us quickly and try to pull us back but if we feed our our hearts and become that new identity in Christ by using God's word to reject our old selves, that is going to be worth more in the end than trying to fill, fulfill our sinful desires. You think about it, it's true. It's true. So, When I hear that song from Lecrae again, I'm not the shoes I wear, I'm not the clothes I buy, I'm not the house I live in, I'm not the car I drive, I'm not the job I work. You can't define my worth on nothing on God's green earth. My identity is found in Christ, it's found in Christ. So no matter what you have, that doesn't identify you. What identifies you is you walking and having that relationship with Christ the best way you can. Rejecting your old identity and accepting your new identity. You want God to see Christ in you. So when it is time for us to go home to our new home that God is preparing for us, you want to get up to him and stand right in front of God. And you want God to open his arms and say, welcome home, my good and faithful servant. That is what I want want and that is what i want all of you to experience as well you want that identity to shine bright in god's face so he's open arms saying welcome home how do we do that we accept christ and how do you accept christ you admit to yourself that you're a sinner and that you need christ in your life you need to confess with your lips and accept with your heart you need to you need to reach out to god and say i know i'm a sinner i need you From this moment forward, I follow you. Please bring your Holy Spirit on me. And then we fulfill our hearts with God's word. Continuously, every day, the best way we know how. Not alone, but with God's help. All right. Thank you for listening to God, family, and everything else. I want to know your thoughts, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right. Again, this is about identity. Peace.